Majesty. Tell me your plan, Major Duco. For the price of one death and one imprisonment, Britain will leave Spain with no more shots being fired. The deposed Spanish king, Ferdinand, will sign a treaty which ends the war between France and Spain. We will withdraw, and Ferdinand will once again rule Spain. In return, King Ferdinand will promise to end the alliance with Britain, and the British army will be ordered to leave Spain. Joseph likes being king of Spain. I am sure your majesty's brother would make a wise king wherever he is. The Spanish people will continue to fight. Only the beloved King Ferdinand could make them accept the treaty. But he wants reassurance. Will the nobility of Spain support him? Will the Spanish generals? And most important of all, what will the church say? And what will the church say? It will approve, Your Majesty. It's very clever, Major Duco. Worthy of admiration. I should have thought of it. But you did, Your Majesty. I'm merely taking the idea a little further. But to do coal, what do you get? Revenge. On who? A British officer, Major Richard Sharp. He has luck, this Sharp. At Talavera, Your Majesty, he captured an Imperial Eagle touched by your own hand. See that his luck runs out. We've got them running, Nan. We're going to chase them out of Spain, into France, and drown them in the Channel. Pity of it is, we can't stop the scum looting and destroying everything as they go. Napoleon's got his troubles in Russia, sir. They need all the money they can get. How are the men's spirits? They're dying for the fray, sir. And Sharp? He's not the same man, sir. The loss of his wife. Grief, well... Takes men in different ways, sir. <laughs> I've got one for you. Where does Napoleon keep his armies? I don't know, Perkins. <laughs> Where does Napoleon keep his armies? <laughs> Up his sleeve is. <laughs> Drunk again, Harper. <laughs> oh, me too, sir. <laughs> <laughs> he looks as grim as an old Bailey judge. Still blaming his soul. Guilt and grief. If there's anything I can do for you, sir, you know you only have to ask. I know I'll have that. How's Ramona? Oh, she's grand, thanks, sir. Mr. Nairn got us permission to get married. That's good. Aye. Well, you know, I like her an awful lot, sir. And what with the wee one on the way, I suppose Mr. Nairn thought it would be best. So when's the wedding? Well, as soon as I can find a priest. She's got herself a wedding dress, so she has. It's got frills. How do you know what women are like, sir? Aye. No one at all, Pat. Hmm. And I'll tell you one thing. They like Marion, so they do. Especially when they're pregnant. <laughs> Go to a pub. I need you. <laughs> Eat, Patrick. Well, 
How's he doing? Young Patrick, how's he doing then? He might be a girl, huh? Well, I can tell you. As long as it's one or the other, I don't mind. Como está usted, Sargento? Bien. Gracias. You stood? Encantado de conocerte. What does that mean? I am pleased to know you. I'm pleased to know you too. Do you know? The old soup isn't too bad either. The sooner we march on the French now, the better. He needs a good battle. He needs a good woman. Oh, he had one. But he lost her. He went and lost her, so he did. Faster, we have to go faster. My husband will know by now that I've fled. Please don't worry, Ellen. My men are guarding you. We will get you there. We have to. I built my whole life towards this gentleman. Oh, call me Raoul, please. I will get you to Paris, trust me. You are so beautiful. And you are so brave. Oh, if only you would say yes to living with me in Paris, you would make me so very happy. Well. You already have a wife. Ah, oui, but she's old and ugly, and you make me feel... 60 again. <laughs> <laughs> you have a wicked tongue. But then again, so do I. I apologize for the interruption, General, but I have orders from the Emperor. For me? For the Marquesa. How do you do, Ellen? So, you're running away, Marquesa? Like the rest of the French army. They have fought for their country, and like you. Oh, Pierre, my life was in danger every day. It still is. Your convoy is loaded with gold and silver plate, venting, coins, statues, tapestries, carving, and a wine cellar packed in sawdust. The total value is some um, one million Spanish doubloons. You've missed the furniture. There's a mirror at bed. Oh. Is that the one in which you persuade the general to guard your stolen property? <laughs> Is it fool? That makes two of you. Don't mock me, Ellen. I can destroy you. I despise your kind, Marcus. You're half English, and yet you work for us. I'm half French. You married a Spaniard, and while your husband fights for his country, you steal his property. I fight for France. You fight for yourself! You have no shame, no country. You disgust me. What a pity when I find you so attractive. You've had it easy in this war, Ellen. Fluttering your eyelashes 
and living in Spanish splendor with your dear husband, the Marquess. I married him at Napoleon's request. Do you think I enjoyed having him grunt all over me while I stole information for people like you? I never considered it. But then you've never had sex. What do you want, Pierre? You will write a letter. I don't take orders from you. They don't come from me. They come from the highest authority. You will write a letter telling your husband the reason you fled is that an English officer, Major Richard Sharp, has forced his intentions on you. And while drunk, he tried to attack you. I've never met this Sharp. Write the letter. Your property is loaded on French army wagons. Condemned ones. I can countermand the condemnation. Write. Buenas tardes, señor Marqués. Whatever we make the chief object of our desires, we'll draw our minds and endeavors after it. He who places his greatest happiness in the world will every day become more worldly. For the world he will plod and sweat. He will descend into what is low and unbecoming and will often be tempted to what is not truly fair and just. Eternal life can only be given by Jesus Christ, whose capacity to confer it the Father has sealed and certified. Amen. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Company! Yes, yes. Are you sharp? Who are you? Are you sharp? I'm the man who'll turn your arse if you don't learn some manners. I am Major Mendora. My name is Sharp. Easy. That was from my master, the Marquesa de Casares el Grande. My master's wife, the Marquesa, has written to him, telling of your brutish behaviour, of your cowardly attack on her. I've never met her. You have caused grave offence. So have you, mate. There is a clearing in the woods by the south road. Seven this evening. What was all that about? God knows. You gave your word that I could leave. But I'm keeping it, Marquess, sir. These are condemned wagons. I couldn't let you meet with an accident on the way. So Napoleon's made you his wagon master. Congratulations, Pierre. Listen, you want to have a good think about this. If Wellington finds out you're done for, you know what he says, jewels are forbidden. Huh? How well did you get to know this Marquise, anyhow? Don't you start. No, sir. I'll kill the Marquise. And when I find his bloody Marquise, I'll kill her. Of course you will, sir. What does he want? Major Sharp, sir! Captain, I trust you're not going ahead with this duel. Sir, 
The sight of Spanish blood upset you, does it? I've been speaking with some of the Spanish officers. The Marquez is a very fine swordsman. He's been taking lessons in Paris from Bouillet. Well, he can take lessons in Spain from me. No further. You must have a second. I'll bear responsibility alone for this before Wellington. Try and get the sun in your eyes. You'll faint right and thrust left. Make your faint your attack, sir. Just knock the shade out of him, sir. Good luck. You have one more chance, Major Sharp. Apologize and resign. I have nothing to apologize for. Very well. The duel ends in a death. Estáis listo, mi señor. Major Sharp. smile yet if I were you. You fat bastard. You won't find a coffin to fit you. We're played by your orals. Now we'll play by mine. <laughs> I bet you never saw that in a duel. This is not a duel, it's a brawl. think you're doing? A matter of honour, sir. Honour? The duel is not over. Listen to me. There is no duel. There was no duel. This is a friendly sword practice. Do you understand me? Major Sharp. En su infinita nobilidad ha salvado hoy a Sharp. Todo el mundo le ha visto retroceder. Usted es un héroe de España. ¿A dónde va usted, Márquez? Los demás le seguirán.
Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata, miserere in nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata, miserere in nobis. You're under arrest, Major Sharp. What? Stand back. Hand me your sword, Major Sharp. Major Sharp, you are charged with the murder of the Marquess. De Casares El Grande. I've been sleeping all night. How did he die? Throat slit from ear to ear as he slept. I didn't kill him. I swear, sir, on my honor. You're under arrest, Major Sharp. If I don't get you under lock and key, the Spanish will hang you. Prisoner and escort, fall in! Au revoir. I will see you in Paris. Goodbye, Raoul. Come soon. Hiya! But you always do. I appreciate the feelings of our Spanish allies, but I have to tell you that Major Sharp is innocent until proved guilty. We have no intention of handing him over to you. There will be a court-martial, evidence will be heard, and then, and only then, will judgment be passed. Do I make myself clear? Did he do it, Nan? He swears he did not, sir. And I believe him. Well, he fought a duel, defying my orders. He lied about that. Well, he says he's never met the Marquesa. Well, then why does the lady accuse him of such a thing? Well, apparently she wrote a tearful letter to her now-deceased husband, God rest his soul, telling him of Sharp's vile indiscretions. That letter was delivered by the good father Hatra. The Inquisitor? The very one, sir. Has the ear of the cardinal and the heart of a snake. And how is Major Shah? He is on trial for the murder of the Marquess. The whole army is outraged. What a beautiful day. Now you pay us. The Marquess, as your brother will tell you, had a clause in his will. That's not uncommon. That if his widow takes her vows as a nun, all his wealth reverts to the church. And you, Father Hatcher, as God's representative in this area, will take the inheritance. The Marquesa left in a convoy not two hours ago. The money is with her. We will kill her. No, it must remain legal. I need some letters, Father Hatcher, from the Spanish nobility assuring your King Ferdinand that a peace with France will be acceptable. I am sure that will not be a difficulty. Your troops will leave us alone? You have my word. And you have mine. Sharp is found not guilty. The Spanish will never believe us or trust us again. They want justice. I think they should get it, sir. Whatever the verdict. Major Sharp! Lieutenant Trumpet Jones, sir. You're defending officer. 
Been here long, have you? Two months, sir. Have you done this before? <sighs> Could you tell us what the letter says, Major Mendora? In English, if you please. <coughs> my dear Paolo, what I have to tell you pains my heart and will wound you deeply. I have fled because of the unwelcome attentions of Major Richard Sharp. <coughs> he has pestered me at every opportunity with the shameful suggestions and indecent invitations. I have to tell you that further to this, on the night of the 16th of April, Major Sharp appeared at our home in a state of drunkenness. He forced his way into our house and begged me to sleep with him. I've never met the woman! Major Sharp, <coughs> I will have silence in this court, is that clear? Go on, please, Major Mendora. He said that there was only one woman in the world for him, and that was me. And if he had to kill you to have me, then so be it. Thank you, Major Mendora. Could you tell the court, please, what happened after the Marquis received the letter? Major Sharp refused to apologize, so there was a duel. And this duel came to an abrupt end, did it not? It was stopped, yes. But Major Sharp was roaring at this time. Roaring? He was cursing and vowing that he would kill the Marquess. In a duel? Thank you, Major Mendora. Mr. Trumper Jones. Major... <clears throat> Major Mandora, you have a vested interest in seeing Major Sharp hang, have you not? No. You were gravely insulted by Major Sharp before this... sword practice. Objection, sir. It was a duel. A duel forbidden by Lord Wellington. Mr. Trumper Jones, you will refer to the duel as the duel. Is that clear? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Major Mandora, did Major Sharp not insult your manhood when he threatened to tan your ass? I did not hear that. You're a liar! Major Sharp! Major Sharp! Gentlemen, you may not be, but you will behave like one in this court. Is that clear? Sure. Please, sir. Where's Ned? Where the hell is he? I don't know. We've heard from the Spanish guard at the Marquis' quarters that he saw a British rifle officer with a straight sword leave there at three o'clock this morning. Can you explain that? I slept right through till dawn, sir. But you have no witnesses to swear to that. I did not kill him. So you keep telling us, Major Sharp. You also keep telling us that you have never met the Marquis, sir. Yet here we have a letter from her to her husband, a nobleman of Spain, detailing violent, repellent advances by you on her. Perhaps you could tell us why she would say this. I don't know. She's lying. husband is dead, Marquesa. I'd find it hard to tell the difference. You are an adulteress and a murderer. 
And I have come to save you from your sins. You've come to help yourself, priest. In the convent of the heavens, you will find peace. find you guilty of murder, Sharp. You have brought dishonor upon your regiment and the British Army. You are hereby stripped of your rank. You will be escorted from here to a place of execution, and in the presence of our allies, you will be hanged by the neck until dead. Have you anything to say? Mission to die in my rifleman's jacket, sir. Denied. Hagman, kill anyone who tries to stop us. Judge. Let's go. You will stay exactly where you are. Says who? Sir. Wellington. Should I serve sherry to the Spanish officers, sir? Damn it, Stokely. It's an execution, not a bloody christening. Sir. Now that is over, gentlemen. Perhaps we can get on with this war. Asesinan a nuestros héroes. Y luego afirman que han ganado esta guerra por sí mismos. Damn way, Harper. Was damn murder, sir. Sergeant Harper. Sir. Come with me. I have a job for you. Put these on. Say your farewells and hurry up. You mind yourself now. And him. I love you an awful lot. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you where we're going, sir? Over the hills, Sergeant, and far away. Uh, which hills and how far? Questions, questions, and all questions, and mostly no Hands 
off me. I'll strike you down. You'll see you'll be the plague. More likely the pox. Thieves! Thieves! Bloody thieves! Let me out of here! When this war's over, will you go back home, Sergeant? If I'm alive, me, Ramon, and the baby will head home. If I'm dead, and they bury me here, my spirit will soar straight back to Ireland. So you believe in ghosts, do you, Sergeant? I believe in God the Father, God the Son, and the she riding the wind. Here's a ghost for you, Sergeant Harper. His name was Liam Dooley. He and his brother were going to be hanged for looting a church. I made them an offer. One could live, but one would die. Liam called Hedge. It was a very bad call. Who knows I'm alive? Ask Wellington, the provost who hung Dooley, and their sworn to secrecy. Why all the shenanigans, sir? The French are running away. The bastards haven't got the stomach for any more. But they're using every dirty trick they can to drive a wedge between us and the Spanish. That's why we must find out what they're up to and stop them. Who's we? You and Sergeant Harper, of course. You will go into enemy territory, you will find the Marquesa and you will bring her to me. I'll bloody kill her. You will not kill her, Sharp, and that's an order. She knows the answer to the, uh, shenanigans. So why did she write the letter? She's a French spy. Her mother was English, her father was a Frenchie. She married the Marquis, probably on the orders of Napoleon himself. I'm a soldier. I'm for fighting, not spying. You'll do as you're told, sir. Oh, yes. You'll need this. Now, listen to me. There's a priest not 20 miles from here, Father Sanchez. He's a good man. Hears things on the wind. Speak to him. Well, that's a start. Go carefully. Remember, you're dead. What if we don't find the Marquesa? Don't come back. Good luck. I pongo a vuestra disposición mi entero respaldo a nuestro acuerdo. Y ruego porque vuestra majestad haga lo mismo. Gracias. Permission to leave the column and speak, sir. Carry on. Where's Sergeant Harper, sir? Sergeant Harper is doing a job for me. Look after his woman until he returns, Hagman. We will, sir. We stick together, you see. Ramona is part of us. Just like Major Sharp was. Permission to rejoin the column, sir? Carry on. Shite! 
You all right? I've been happier. Is he alive? Just. Bastards. It's four against two. Good odds. There'll be more in a minute. You stay here. Marquesa Dorada. Golden haired. She's golden haired. Where is she? The Marquesa. El Matarrif. Hermano Acha. Hermano. Where is she? Marquesa Dorada. Paisano. El convento. Partisans. Donde? Donde? Santa. Monica. Thank you, Father. Support is growing. Every hour. The Spanish nobles are desperate to help. When King Ferdinand returns, perhaps the Inquisition will return too. I pray for it. That's the convent up there. Aye. The partisans will see us soon enough. I think they have already. I am a British officer, Major Vaughan. I bring the compliments of my General Wellington. He has heard of me. Who has not heard of El Matarife? Great guess, sir. You hate the French, Major Vaughan? I fight them every day. You should see how I fight them. Huh? <laughs> can boast I fought against the French alongside the great Matarife. You hear him? He says he has fought beside me. Wellington needs your help.
The British army is advancing and pushing the French back on the Great Road. I have come here because the general wants an assurance that every partisan will be on hand to harass the retreating French and to kill them. Every partisan. But especially El Matarife. Hmm. You can tell the general my forces will help him. There is one other thing Wellington seeks. You guard the Marquesa Dorada. Wellington asked this? We uh, heard you've been brought here. Where did you hear? Everything El Matarife does is important to us. Yeah. But we would like to talk to her. She knows things about the French army that could be of help to us. You wish to talk with her? I do. Maybe more than talk, eh? Yeah. <laughs> she's in the convent up there no she's here you can talk with her come come to watch her. Huh? Sorry, senor. This man will be punished. Castigo, then! Huh. Uh, good luck, my friends. Mm. Whoever she was, she died for no reason. Whoever. Marquesa has golden hair. That poor dead girl's hair was black. Marquesa Tarada. Some poor serving girl. Another soul who didn't need to die. Oh. I hope you are well. I hope you're in excruciating pain. Father Racha has told me of your deep desire to repent. I haven't sinned enough yet. And embrace the faith. I'd love to join your happy band, sister, but you need to get a better dressmaker. God hears your wicked tongue. He sees your thieving, you viperous virgin. I fear you have a long road to travel before you can place your heart in the hands of the Creator. But we have time. Take the horses and wait down there, Pat. Good luck. Matrife, Matrife! Can you hear me? Come on. Come on. Come to see La Marquesa de Casares El Grande. She's not here. I have travelled far to see her. Who are you? Major Vaughan. It is against God's law to see her. I'm sure God will forgive me. You cannot see her. Go away.
Go away. Go away! Please! Marquesa! Marquesa! Problem, sir. Nothing we can't handle, though. Either. We'll lose the horses, they'll pull in the trail. Come on! Shut up! Turn! Where are we going? I said, where are we going? Oh, shut up. Your ass. But I tan it. Like you tan the nuns' asses. You didn't, did you? You wouldn't hit them. They're good people. Dear God, they're thieves and liars. Oh, you were in good company then. But you were sorry to leave. Is the bullet still in it? No, it sliced me. You saved my life. You were trying to end mine. I've never met you. Oh, did you hear that, Pat? She's never met me. It's still bleeding, sir. Don't move. What about my shameful suggestions? Your what? Oh, she's denying me now, Pat. After all we've been through. Oh. I hear her, sir. You'd think she'd remember the man who got down on his knees. Drunk, mind you. And crawled on her floor begging her ladyship to sleep with him. Bugger! I'd remember him. Aye. So would I. 
The man lost his honour because of the lady's lies. Stripped of his rank, hung on a rope. Who are you? You know who I am. My name is Sharp. Stink of that hole is all over me. Good. I want this off. It's got fleas. Poor boogers have got you. Please, I ask you. You'll have to help me. Go on, then. God save Ireland. Oh, it's very cold weather for the time of the year. Nights are drawn in. Give me that. Thank you. You steal this. I've got more than you've ever dreamed of. In the wagons they took from me, Matarife and his brother. Who's his brother? Acha, the Inquisitor. Hermano. Do you remember the old priest tried to tell us? You stole it. For God's sake. It's mine. Duco tried to take it from me. Major Duco. You know him? We have met. He made me write the letter. Where is he? Santa Maria. Give me a hand, help. Well, that wasn't a very polite move now, ma'am. Do you want the partisans to have you? Don't be stupid. Bloody French on one side, a madman on the other. And we are stuck here with a woman who had me young. God does work in mysterious ways. Cabrones. Ramona. I'll get one of the women. There. There's no time. You shouldn't hate me. You're a spy. I'm a soldier, Sharp. 
can't carry a rifle, so I use what I've got. Besides, what's a poor girl to do to get on in the world? You're not poor. What do you dream of, Sharp? Going home. Me, no. <gasps> she has to be on her back. She doesn't want to be. She must be lying on her back. Who says? A bloody doctor, that's who. See, Francis. Francis. Huh? Blankets. Blankets. Oh yes, then blankets. Blankets. Have you done this before? Not with human childs. No. I think I'll take a wee look. I have been poor, Sharp. I'm crying. I've dreamt all my life of a house on the Seine. Good wine and handsome men. I haven't always been a lady. Oh, you surprise me. <laughs> Who killed the Marquess? The priest or his brother. Duco. Duco is the one. Duco has no honor. You're a strange man, Sharp. You speak of honor. You wouldn't hit the nuns. Can't be bought. You don't like me. I've never met a man like you. I'm scared. So am I. I don't believe you. Good. I didn't say I didn't like you. What the devil's going on here? We're delivering a baby, sir. What? Right. Carry on. Go on, we're with you. Go on. Go on. You've done it. You've done it. Look. 
thanking to the Lord, for he is good. Because of his mercy, endureth forever. Bless this child, for he is a gift upon the earth. Wash away his tears, sweeten his sorrow. Amen. Amen. And a call of nature. I'll escort you. Is that strictly necessary? I'm afraid it is, ma'am. Bloody crazy! Must be the weather, ma'am. Partisans took the wagons and locked me in the convent. This man freed me. Raoul, we must find Archer. You are alone? Yes, he is. You are a brave man. Who are you? My name is Major Vaughan. I'm a British officer. You wanted the Marquesa's wagons? I did. We take the Marquesa home and you prisoner. You could let me go, sir. I cannot do that. But they will make you an offer. You give me your word, you will make no attempt to escape and you will be treated with the respect due to your rank. And if I don't, sir? You will be taken under armed escort to Santa Maria. I promise you nothing of your treatment there. Major Ducot is in charge of prisoners at Santa Maria. Give him your word, Vaughan. He will set you free in France. A house on the Seine. The life of a gentleman. But no honor, Helen. I cannot give you my word, sir. Tant pis. Emmenez-le.
Sergeant Harper coming, sir. Trouble? It could be, sir. Sharp? Could be, sir. Fix it, then. When we fight the French, I want nothing, and I mean nothing to impede us. Did you get the Marquesa? Oh, we got her all right, sir. But the French got us. She got away. Where's Sharp? The French have him at Santa Maria. Do they know it's Sharp? Well, actually, they think he's Major Vaughan, sir. Vaughan? The military prosecutor? The very man. Did he interrogate her? Oh, he was at her all night, sir. But did he find the answers? Well, it appears Father Hasha and Elmata Reef kidnapped the Marquesa and forced her to write the letter. But the man with all the answers, sir, is Major Ducot. Ducot. Uh, where is he, Sergeant? Well, he's at Santa Maria, too, sir. In charge of Sharp. He'll kill him, Sergeant. I'm going to get him out, sir. You can't do that. Why not? With respect, sir. The British Army needs every man it has. The British Army needs a lot of things, sir. But what it does need is Major Sharp. He might already be dead. <laughs> I've heard that one before, sir. The Army needs you, Sergeant. And it needs the chosen men. Me and the chosen men will be back in no time at all, sir. Like the she's right in the wind. I see that you are, Sergeant. Thank you, sir. Oh, baby. Patrick. Patrick, Jose, Hackman, Cooper, Harris, Perkins. Harper. She called him after the midwives. <laughs> Take care. Take care. What's that mean? Where are we off to? We're going to join up with a man called Sharp, lads. You mean we're all going to die? No, Perkins, lad. Mr. Sharp may be dead in the eyes of the French, but to you and me, he's as lively as a meal. Just a minute. How, Sarge? You know the army boys. They couldn't hang a curtain, even if they tried. Well, I hope. You will speak when you're spoken to. That's the British way. I am an officer of His Britannic Majesty's Army. And I demand treatment proper to my rank. You're not an officer, Shah. You were stripped off your rank by court-martial. You were pronounced dead. And here you are now. A civilian. Masquerading, I believe, as Major Vaughan. One has to take care of spectacles, Sean. As you know. You're a spy, Sharp. I am a soldier. You're a spy, Sharp. Wellington himself faked your execution. The Spanish army will be most interested to hear this. Why did you go such length to rescue the Marquesa? It was her birthday. I'd made her a cake. Oh! You 
you broke my spectacles, Charles. Deliberately. This is a very fine instrument. From Wellington himself. A thousand of these at Santa Maria. There's five of us. Good odds, eh? What do you think? Sounds good to me, Sarge. Dress bloody bum. Uniform mat not man. Would you believe me if I said I don't wish you dead? No. It's true. You can live. You can walk out of here with your sword. We won't exchange you, of course. You will spend the rest of the war in France. We might even civilize you. But then it's your choice. Now, tell me, Sharp. Did the Marquess seek for British help? You bone-headed sharp, like all soldiers. She put you where you are, and you will not answer the question? You put me where I am. I arranged the duel, but you don't know why. Since you persist in dying, I will tell you. King Ferdinand of Spain will sign a treaty with us, which will mean the British will be routed. It has the support of the Church and of the noblemen of Spain. And all because you wanted to fight a duel. You're a fool, Sharp. I counted on you being a fool. Oh! Blow this place to kingdom come. I have longed for this moment, Charles. I thought it had gone. But you know what? I do believe there is a God after all. Vous faites ici Il est où votre supérieur Où allez-vous 
Hello. V. Tá certo. Será? Será? Me pita, será? I'm a father, sir. A wee little boy. Patrick Jose Hagman. Congratulations. I'll buy you a drink if it's yours. armies stand before us here at Vittoria. But on this occasion, gentlemen, we have the advantage of numbers. There will be many deaths here, but we shall prevail, and in so doing, we will drive the French from Spain forever. Go on, my lads, forward and complete your victory. They won't stand... You have failed me, priest. I do not understand. Sharp is alive. The Marquesa is free. The English come. Sharp is dead. I saw him hang. You call me a liar. Sir. Report. The French are trying to engineer a treaty with King Ferdinand to drive us out, sir. Father Hatcher is in it up to his neck. Which I will break. Major Duco is the man behind it, sir. He has letters of support from the Spanish. They were forced by Hatcher and the Inquisition, but he's running. With the letters? Yes, sir. Go to your men, Major Sharp. Resume command. Take the French guns and punch a hole as big an army can go through. I'll support you with artillery. Yes, sir. Sharp. If you find the Marchesa, bring her to me. There are some questions I would like to ask her. Sir. Show some men! Oh, 
your shot. <laughs> Mr. Dallenborn. You've got them scared, lads. They know they're going to be beaten. And now they've got to face a ghost and his men. <laughs> Sergeant Harper, Sir. chosen men to the front. Better French keep their heads down. My company, Bob and Colin, follow me. Take that, Dad. Take your right from the moor. Vamos. Patrick's inheritance. El Materife. Materife! You're a coward, Materife. You only fight women. They touch a bat. Put a bullet in him. That won't be a problem, sir. You 
You must count the ways of your death. <laughs> the dead don't count, Matarife. Oh. <laughs> Come! Death wants you! <laughs> You and your brother, father, how you work for the French? No! You both work for the French. Who killed the Marquis? Who killed the Marquis? I did. Your brother was with you? Yeah. You were both paid by the French? Yes. Did you hear him? Did you? Look after a pet. Scum of the earth, Nan. What damn fine fellows we have made of them, sir. Quite. Hello. I wanted to give you this as a debt of gratitude. Thank you. It's a beauty. Thank you for what you said. I didn't expect a British court to show such... understanding. It wasn't me. Lord Wellington has a weakness for a pretty face. That's all. So you're free. <laughs> I've lost my husband, all my belongings, all my money. I'm now despised by the Spanish and hated by the French. <laughs> Not so free. I'm sure you'll find a new protector. I don't need a protector. What about you? What are you going to do now? I'm a soldier. I'll go where Lord Wellington tells me. Come visit me. In my house on the sand. Lark pate. And honey. Cold, cold wine. On a hot, hot day. We'll be passing through. I look forward to it. I have orders to move north. I'm just preparing to leave. 
I know. You said once that you liked me. All right. That's true. Excuse me. All set, sir. I'll be right with you, Sergeant Harper. Yes, sir. Goodbye, Sean. Women like getting married, Patrick. I know, but why can't they just do it, like, and, and tell us about it then afterwards, huh? Are you sure you want to go through with it? Oh, I wouldn't let Ramona down, no. I'd do it all right, but I, I just don't have to enjoy doing it. Then falling lads behind the drum With colours blazing like the sun Along the road to come what may over the hills and far away O'er the hills and o'er the main Through Flanders, Portugal and Spain King George commands and we obey Over the hills and far away 